<laughs> Yo. <laughs> you thought we were bearish and we're pumping now. What are you gonna do about that, huh? This shit isn't funny, man. Man, this is not funny. But that's what Bitcoin is saying to us, man. Bitcoin is goblin mode right now, bro. This was some goblin mode stuff. Or maybe some Scooby Doo. But we're gonna pour into this price action. Can we get a bounce here? Yo! <laughs> we're bullish again, baby. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't even know what's going on. But let me do my posts, pour into the chat, and uh, we're doing it again, baby. It's another late night stream. Got me feeling trippy, thanks for 
high vibration when I speak. I found chakra dropping jewels again like a lindy key. Master teacher, not a preacher, but I live what I speak. If you call and I don't answer, then I'm probably somewhere geek. Psychedelic song and my genetics got me feeling trippy. <laughs> We're going goblin mode tonight. Take another trip, pop it shrooms like potato chips. Hello. <laughs> Hello. What's up, my goblins and night creatures and demons? The night creatures, the night traders are out tonight. <clears throat> What it do, man, it do it just be doing, man. It, we're on automatic mode at this point. It's running off discipline, man. We're, I don't even know who is FG anymore, man. There is no FG. Only Zul. Man, we're getting the Beamer wrapped. We're taking, we're taking some crypto profits. Getting the Beamer wrapped uh, next week. Getting it the, the Bitcoin orange. You guys know orange is my favorite color. <clears throat> and I'm paying for personal training again. I told you guys about my boy Larry, how it was prison with Larry at the start of 2023. My Q1 of 2023 was nuts. I, I had crazy personal training. And I saw him at my private gym again today. I saw I saw Big Larry, and Larry was like, "Man, you huge, man!" And I was like, "No, nah, Larry, you serious, man?" And he was like, "Yeah, man." And he's like, "I know you've been making money." And I was like, "I want to help you, Larry. I want to help you make money, Larry." And I said, "Maybe we could do a trade. Maybe I could teach you how to read markets, and you could get me a six pack, Larry." And so we might be working out a little deal, me and Larry. We might even have Larry on the channel. The man who, who gave FG his discipline, who ignited the spark in, within me. <clears throat> so I think I'm gonna do prison with Larry again. I, I gotta get my diet dialed in. I've been eating like a big boy. I've been getting big doing these push-ups, but it's time to dial it in, man. The summer's coming, right? I'm chugging my milk, my milk. Man, it's good to see you guys in the chats. Good to see you guys in the chat, too. Satoshi Nakamoto! Brendan, Clay, Peanut. My little peanut. Good to see you. Santa, Santa's in the house. Santa says it smells dumpy. That's that's right, man. Bitcoin's been in goblin mode. Look at this boring day and then oh, in the middle of the night too, just catching you off guard. The Chinese have been going crazy, man. The Chinese in the in the secret hidden crypto faces, the DGen traders. Been running the markets lately, man. Um, man, so yesterday, I'm already out of breath, bro. I'm, I'm a fat ass, but at yesterday, um, I told you guys that like shit was sideways and like disagreeing and all that stuff. Um, but I was up late. I told you guys I was going to pull an all nighter and man, I saw, I, I saw this anchor trigger setup. You see, we were down here. We had this big dildo close on top of the VWAP. And that made me think like, dude, is there a bullish setup here? And I saw CF's basic strategy anchor wave. So I had to post it in the VIP. Not a trade setup. I just post my ideas. I just post ideas in there, man. Because um, I'm not going to tell you when to take profit or when to, where to place your stop loss. I'm not going to do that shit. You guys need to learn how to fish. But I did call out this basic strategy setup. I said uh, that it was counter trend, but, but noteworthy. Bullish anchor trigger and some pr uh, price action over the intraday. And so, yes, even in my sideways, even in my confusion, <clears throat> even in my lack of clarity, Market Cypher, that basic strategy, man, that shit murders, bro. Um, and it followed through. In the morning, I woke up. First thing I do is pull out my phone. Before I even 
jump out of bed and trip over my crystal balls before I take a dump, before I do my first 20 push-ups, I look at my phone. I see, did Bitcoin screw me over or is Bitcoin making my dreams come true? And man, that, that basic strategy shit played out. I was shocked. That's not what I expected. I didn't expect the bulls to just come out swinging like this, man. And, uh, you know, this position that it put us in um, over the bear sentiments, basically this idea, this April idea that April's gonna suck just got skewered. So this is a likely bounce point. The red anchor is actually a likely bounce point. I hate to say it, as dumpy as this looks, we could get a little, a, a big bounce here actually. That being said, um, if this is gonna be playing games with us, like, I mean, look at the old top anchor, first of all. We had an anchor placed at a top. And you see, you don't really get much action over it. You know, if it's a if it's a substantial top, it gets it's it respects it. You guys see how the anchors get respected. The traders pour in at these levels to defend this shit. So um, you know, it is possible that we lose it. it doesn't have to to follow it. But you also got the orange anchor. There is a you got the the 10 minute DBSI's EMA coming up here too. There's obviously some deeper support. If we do have to come down, there's a long trade here at the pink line at like 66K. But this week, I want to watch this with you guys. I, I don't really know what's going to happen. All I know is that we did skewer this negative idea. I mean, we also resolved the gap issue for the most part. It's mostly filled. And so the gap issue that was bearing down on the market, there was a hex, a curse casted on the market. That curse has been lifted. So in, in theory, there, there isn't any issues of price, the price action itself that would, you know, that prevent an upward move. Um, on the four hour, we got this big anchor wave. Obviously, we do want to see a trigger wave. You know, a trigger, this, is, this alone is not the strongest long. You like to see that second wave, guys. You guys like to see that second wave there. We want to see the overall uptrending blue momentum. And so, yeah, on the four wave, if we could get some sort of uptrend of something, just some sort of four hour bottom, that would be the signal we need for a more surefire long. Um, man, it's like you want these anchors to hold. It's like we just have to see. I mean, I've, I've only been using AVWAP for about two months now, and I've learned to respect them. Um, but we shall see. We shall see. Um, how you guys doing in the chats? Chase Hughes, good to see you, man. Doing those burpees. Absolutely murdering life, showing just ironclad, unwavering discipline. The kind of discipline that could save the world, man. You, you inspire me every day. And uh, you elevate other people, other guys doing burpees and push-ups, and people who do everyday exercises. It looks like you've been elevating them. And uh, yeah, man, I appreciate your support. Um, if you guys want to follow that push-up challenge, I post them on my YouTube shorts, and I'm on the Nick Cipher Instagram account too. And yeah, I'm uh, getting personal training too. I'm gonna to dial it in. I'm gonna dial my diet in. And I want to be a disciplined lord. You guys get to see an average kid, an average dude, figure shit out. That's what everyone wants to see, man. We, they they want to see that it can be done. Honestly, all you see these days is people who already have it figured out, and they already have everything, and they're just like calling you a loser, rubbing it in your face, and bragging about it. It's not often that you see someone actually freaking do it. So man, that's that's the weight. That's the weight on my shoulders, man. That's my my mission. <clears throat> let's see. Let's see. Zoink. What do you think about a basic strategy short on the 15 minute? Let's take a peek, bro. Let's see. First thing I see is we're I I do see it. It is currently playing out. It's playing out right now for you. 
we do have some critical support. We have the old bearish sentiment, which is now a flipped support. We could dig in some solid structure here and there could be an upset. Um, so if I was in this short, I would at least cover my, my fees and the funding. Try to get to a point where you could at least break out even if uh, it does turn around and stop you out. Um, that's all I'd recommend, but the short could play out further. We could have to come down. Um, but I see that, dude. You, you guys see this. You guys see the money flow coming down on the 15 minute. You see the anchor wave and you see the trigger wave there. So he's, he's getting the follow through off that. He's eating right now. He's going to feed his family off this winning idea. You're a freaking Chad, bro. I'm so proud of you, man. I'm so proud that you're able to recognize the signs, despite what the pencil necks are saying, man. We see the RSI slipping under 88. We see the blue waves trending down. You see the money flow leaving. Yes, bro. Yes, bro. You're carrying the bolts, bro. Um, hmm, man bear pig is in the chat. Man, we got a rare mythical creature in the chat. James Roy. James Roy, I always respect your opinion. Looking for that four hour bull div into 63. Ooh, yeah, dude. Yes, dude. If we could, um, if we could come back down and really fill that gap, you know what I'm saying, bro? We really fill the gap. I honestly was shocked that the FG push up line, the, the yellow line that I'd started my push ups on from. February 12th or whatever. Why is this the line holding up the markets? It doesn't seem right, bro. You'd think that we would at least come down to the poop line or something. It's just, uh, it's just, it eludes me, bro. I don't understand. I don't understand why Bitcoin is listening. Why does Bitcoin care about my feelings, bro? It shouldn't be like this. It shouldn't be like this. But yes, there's, there's certainly some levels that it could come down to. Uh, we could look for bounces off all these levels. You could look for a bounce at 66, 132. You could look for a bounce down here at the yellow line again at 64347. But uh, man, if we could come down and fill that futures gap, let's check that gap chart. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. That's 64 territory, bro. Mm -hmm. But in the short term, in the short term, we just want to see if this red anchor can hold. It could be a little overshoot with some blow off action. Didn't we get a, yeah, we got a four hour close over this. Got a four hour close over that. I got a feeling like if we slip below it and we get a substantial close underneath it, uh, that would be like short term bearish, right? It's like a failed, it's like a failed swing long, right? Because there was no clouds overhead and then the bulls would have flopped. So if you flop, then you grope, you know? <clears throat> so yeah, this should be, this should be a bounce point. And look, it's not, it's freaking puncturing right now. Let's, let's see it. I'm so glad something's actually happening for once. For once I stream and something's actually happening. Let's go on the two minute, dude. We need this is. Let's see the action, man. Let's see the action. Ooh. Ooh, boy. Oh, boy. It's that goblin mode shit, man. Here we go. What do you guys think? You think the red line's gonna hold? <laughs> Man. Let's go, Satoshi, dude. It's your own coin, man. It's your own coin. You better, man. You better believe in this shit. Oh, oh, Satoshi. Satoshi, are you okay, bro? So if you resent and you're jealous of people who have success, prosperity, and money, and wealth, mm. you will reject that away from yourself. Damn. 
damn, dude, this shit's crazy, man. Can we get a wick down? Can we get a wick down? How sharp is this gonna go? <clears throat> How sharp is this gonna get? This is a knife right here. Oh my gosh. A, a lot of this is is because like when when it fails to hold these anchors, it's like damn like that. Then the, this is where the volume is. If we fail to hold that, that's a, that's a sharp move down possibly to the pink line. We're gonna have to monitor this. You know, since we have this overall bias, look at this bullish bias that we got. One, one of these levels will likely hold on us. So we're looking for a bottom here. We're looking for a bottom. We got a knife. We got a knife here, folks. This is the content that we want to see. This is what you guys signed up for when you subscribed. Look at us under the intraday. Look at that 15 minute the 15 his 15 minute basic strategy call is freaking murdering dude you're fucking killing it dude man i'm so proud of you guys you guys are like man i'm not even the best mc trader dude i'm not even the best mc analyst like some of you guys are just naturals at this you got it you're getting it I love to see it, man. Trust in the indicators. Because I, I see it too, man. I see this bearish play on the 15 minute. But man, it's crazy how things can change on a dime, bro. Like you wake up and you got to just adapt whatever like idea you had. You got to be ready for, for reality to slap you in the face, man. I, dude, I love this, man. I love uh, this straight shoot down, the follow through off these signals. I'm happy. I'm happy to look like a fool if it makes Market Cipher look good, man. I, I love it. Definitely some. Look at this. We got uh, some. So on the 65 minute, we create that lower high. Um, but we have a higher high of momentum. That's definitely some downward pressure. Definitely some downward pressure. Uh, test, test test says, what walk pad treadmill am I using? It's an else luck, an else luck treadmill. I didn't like look up the reviews or nothing, man. I just got the cheapest. I just got the cheapest treadmill on Amazon. Make sure you lube it up. Finally, you have a use case for your lube that you got on Amazon three years ago unwrap that shit and like you peel back the the uh the tread the tread the belt or whatever lube make sure you lube your treadmills don't go in dry um or buy some treadmill lube and use that in the bedroom oh uh, man four hour flopping Schmirl, what the heck's your name, bro? What are your guys' names, man? I get, I'm the flopping groper, I guess. I can't judge you guys. But Schmirl says, uh, four hour flopping since Monday, but looks more like turning down for good. Let's check the four hour. Turning down for good? <laughs> you mean like forever? <laughs> it's, not gonna, it's gonna come back eventually, dude. There's. <laughs> We're going to zero, dude. We're on the Titanic, man. We're gonna get entombed. It's the top. It's the top. The red dot's taking us all the way down. We're gonna get entombed, bro. We're on the Titanic. The enemies of the US dollar will be trapped. The four hours never gonna come back up. <laughs> Oh, man, it's gonna come down and it's and then it's gonna go up. Okay, <laughs> it's a wave, man. <laughs> it's a wave. It'll do something like uh, something like this. It already got overextended, you know. So the odds are is that it doesn't penetrate the negative sixty again. 
it could potentially like over here we got two see over here we got two big dips and we got like a double anchor wave situation we could certainly get a similar thing but yeah just just don't be don't go crazy for now only i'm allowed to act crazy right now <clears throat> we love it man we love the cheaper prices more time for the common man did get talk to the common man in your life talk to the uber drivers go to the local bar tell them bitcoin dumped one percent it's on sale um yeah man if we did have to come down to the year to date we would be it would be like our prayers are answered so make sure that like your leverage situation is is accounting for all possibilities like or or don't use leverage just spot trade some some shit coins spot trade some whiff bro if you can't handle the leverage let's look at the eth btc trend you know what's crazy is uh the guy at the at the rap shop no he knew about crypto he was saying he's like got a lot of eth and i told him like uh, eth hasn't been trending good against bitcoin and i told him like i depending on this trend like i'll swap between having like majority eth and majority bitcoin in my portfolio and like i was just telling him for the time being like bitcoin's been trending on it trending on eth let's take a look at the eth chart Ooh man it's just dumping through the gulag dumping through the gulag it's man green money flow uh the daily wave could turn up man but this is what we actually like to see for you know if you're on the daily in a bull market and you're seeing waves down here you you are scoping out like we got to keep an eye on this eth bro because it is eth you know like when it when this shit scoops up and starts moving don't you we can't be sleeping on this shit if we have to like long from this anchor here or something that's huge that's a huge move Shmirl, no dude i do not give financial advice man look at me look at me bro do i look like i give financial advice so jason vernon says sussed out the tp mint guys as you suggested they are awesome sussed out you were sussed out by tp mint they're super legit dude you can't really argue they had they trade like robots man they trade like so one two three step one two three it's there's no heart or emotion in it at all so hopefully you're not sussed out by them they're they're good people man <clears throat> but yeah eth man very saddened by this you know if uh but at the same time my eyes are open oh got you he vetted them got you yeah they're good people man everyone in our mc community is good people no one's perfect man we all got our superpowers we all got our own unique personalities um if you think there's a personality or an archetype or if there's something missing well then step up man let's let's get more people in here uh reading the charts man the more the merrier there's always room for another asshole to to come on the treadmill and uh man and just yap for for hours there's always room for more yapping about the markets bro it's an infinite infinite demand let's see the haiken ashis let's do a little haiken ashi yeah perhaps when eat eats hiking a she's on these big time frames flip green it's a good time to start thinking about the eth especially this eth btc chart like yeah if we can get like a weekly hike in a she 
that then we would change that would change the game you know I, I tried putting anchors on this chart and it didn't go very well it did not go very well at all let me try it again let me just put like anchors on like the last three oh man oh man i don't like this chart man yeah all right so if this is the quarter where eth can can break free we're gonna look for us to overcome this recently established quarterly anchor the recently established quarterly anchor it has to come over this guys if you ever are thinking about swapping some bitcoin for eth i would say that we have to come over this line would you not would you say the same and if we do that it's probably a surefire uh s swap swing long big major swap up to this line up here and who knows what happens after that but if we can go over that then eth might have its 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 day in the sun um, but I would say that this uh, Q2 anchor that just generated at the start of April is very important. Ooh, okay, OG Blockchain says, who are my top five traders? Hmm. My top five traders, living or dead. um obviously the two the two traders that i really look up to the most obviously are my brother crypto face who taught me about risk in the first place and jason casper so i'm blessed to actually know like personally two of my five top traders in fact most of my my role models most of my idols are like actual people that i know and so I feel really blessed. Um, but number three, number three would have to be Brian Shannon, the creator of the Anchored VWAP tool. I love the work he did with Alpha Trends and making his own uh, variation of the VWAP tool. Obviously, I use it in my analysis. And so, objectively, he's someone that uh, that I that I have to look up to because he has a really firm understanding of uh, volume weighted average price, which is my go-to indicator. Um, he made this book that I actually bought. That's how you know I like the guy. If you buy someone's book, that means you really like him, right? So I got his book right here. <clears throat> right now I use it to put my webcam on, but it was a good read, man. It took me three days, three days to read it. Um, as for the next two, um, you know, there was this guy who was like the biggest, like the, the biggest trader. He had like billion dollar trades back in like the 1920s. I can't remember what his name was, dude. It was like something Stillwater, or like Blackwater or something. Like I read this article on him and I was like, dude, this dude's a legend. Does anyone know who I'm talking about? Jesse something? Jesse Livermore, is that what it was? Jesse Livermore? I gotta read more on him, man. He he was like a really inspiring figure. Murder in this game. Dude, yes, Jesse Livermore, dude. You guys gotta read up on that fool. He had like billion dollar trades when a billion dollars was like a trillion dollars. Um, so that's four. Man, who's number five, bro? Who's number five? Would it be living or dead, man? <sighs> man I, you know, I honestly don't really have a fifth. Like, there's a lot of amazing traders throughout history. Um, I, You guys got these really great names. You guys got great names. It's just like, have I read up on these people? Have I learned their lessons? I need to do more research on, on good traders. Stacy Burke. I never heard of her. I got to look her up. Mark Douglas.
Yeah, that's just my four, man. That's my four right there. Mark Douglas. Oh, the Jesse guy. Oh, got you. That Jesse Livermore guy came back like five times. Yeah, dude. He, uh, that dude, most good traders have like, they have experienced like multiple market deaths. That's what makes you such a good trader is you, you learn the growth mechanisms. Once you have the growth mechanisms down, you could take any account and just start doing work and magic with it. You become a magician. I totally believe it, man. The best, <laughs> Zoink says the best trader is Nancy Pelosi. Oh my gosh, you're stewed. Yes, that's my number five, man. Nancy Pelosi. That's the ultimate trading strategy, bro. Just having the insider information. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. Man, the Democrats are so funny, bro. Whenever they're in office, all the markets pump. They're like, we hate rich people. And then all the rich people get rich when they're president. And they're like, we hate oil. We hate cattle. We hate all these things. And we're going to make it more scarce and stigmatized and hated. Which obviously raises the price. <laughs> it's all just a game, bro. It's all just a freaking game. You know what's so funny is uh, like Joe Biden's mentality is so scary. Like he just sits in his bed all day, doesn't campaign or give a shit about anything, and he just wins. That's freaking terrifying, bro. He's like AI. What he does with minimal effort, he d he defeated like the world's greatest champion. That's demoralizing, dude. That's like man versus machine, bug versus fly swatter that's scary bro that's scary when someone like imagine like mike perry's about to fight someone and the dude's just sitting around playing his fucking video games and he's jacked and like already ready to go for like six months and he's like doesn't even say anything to mike and the, he doesn't even show up to the press conference because he's like i got this fool and then he actually gets him and he wins that's fucking crazy that's demoralizing bro so joe biden's mentality what he's got up in here is 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 crazy bro we all got to be thinking like that man on these charts on these charts we got to be manipulating reality in our favor like joe biden from our bedroom that's what you guys are you're you got to manipulate reality from your bedroom you guys are all mini joe biden's don't are you're winning from your bedroom are you not Aren't you manipulating the odds in your favor? The algorithm? Aren't you, uh... Didn't Biden just practice expert risk management? <sighs> on the 8 hour, uh, it looks like the money flow is trying to scoot back up on the 8 hour. Trying to scoot back up. But yeah, on the 4 hour... We got the bearish trigger wave. Mm. Dang, look, we got a 12 hour little nodule here. It's not quite an anchor trigger because this is not like on the 12 hour, this didn't go below 60. So it's not a technical anchor trigger, but it is an uptrend in the momentum. But it's not a divergence since we didn't come lower. So it's not an anchor and it's not a div, but it is an uptrend in the blue waves right there. What are you guys seeing? What are you guys seeing? Willem says the five day money flow went up today. Dang that, you're right, that five day is coming up. Definitely. I mean, just by looking at these big time frames, man, I just it just screamed sideways because you see the money coming in, you know, and and we are above the 60 line on the momentum, uh, but but it's falling, and the VWAP, the yellow oscillator, I should say, is is below the zero line.
for now. But yeah, I love how that five day money flow is in ascent. You could even draw a little uptrend like that. So there's a lot of uh, leeway here for this to come down before things get hairy on that five day money flow. Just the fact that the blue wave is in descent and our yellow oscillator could really use a cross to the upside. That would put this time frame in a very bullish structure if we could just get a green dot on the five day blue wave in the yellow oscillator crossing up, then this whole in the whole five day time frame would be in unison. And we're seeing a similar situation on the weekly. We're seeing the RSI very high market market strength is at a maximum. We haven't really gotten a signal that we've lost market strength on the weekly. And the money flow is still pretty much hanging up there. Um, so the only the only sideways, like we have immediate, immediate short term turbulence. We got a red dot aiming down and we got the yellow oscillator crossing down. So these are like our two shortest time frame indications of market cipher b and they're aiming down whereas the rest of the indicator is saying bullish so uh that that definitely would explain like why we're in this kind of consolidation kind of sideways kind of pattern hmm you mean to look at polka dot man you want to look at polka dot okay man see on polka dot let's see polka dot one hour looks good basic strategy okay let me see mm. i do see it. yeah well this is what he sees guys he sees the 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 blue waves trending up like this that has a trend going up all the way towards april 6th with the money flow scooping up. My only concerns with, with uh, DOT is these, first of all, the fresh anchor quarterly sentiment is still bearing overhead. So there's an idea with polka dot that April is gonna be a bad month. That needs to be punctured before you have an extra layer of bullish bias blowing on your bullish sales. Um, and then the previous quarter, Q1, we slipped under Q1 on polka dot. So we've got Q1 and Q2, basically all of 2024, Polkadot's now slipped under those sentiments. Um, and so there could be a long play back up to this anchor. We could be trying to assault it to break free. We could be sticking to it. But uh, from a, a kind of a macro standpoint, bro, like it, it could have to fall down to the Q4 of 2023. Like started back here in October of last year. That would suck, uh, cause we, we already dug that in over here. Let's see. Looking at the 12 minute to the 12 minute. Oops. Getting a bull dip for you, man. Uh, the only thing is we're under the VWAP. Just man, like the problem with this dot chart is like like when I'm thinking about a long trade, I really want to see a green DBSI. I really want to see price trending over the intraday. To be honest, this is a bit knife catchy. It's a bit knife catchy, blue blue easy. <clears throat> It's not looking too bad, but I would say maybe perhaps wait for a little strength over your intraday VWAP line, bro. 
and then something could very well happen that would be a proper justification for a trade if you see some candles over the intraday as for now in like the very very short term being under the intraday kind of sketch like if you did long from here it would be you would basically want to be covering your fees and covering your ass like right as you hit the VWAP which isn't that high up and so yeah there's a lot of there's a lot of bad ideas overhead typically uh, if you buy strength after the dip if it truly is a strong uptrend that's generating buying strength after the dip is the safest way <clears throat> to stack your cards up when it comes down to the odds you know you're put, trying to put odds in your favor you could do these speculative plays but if you did that over here if you did that over here look you got a bull div over here you have the pig nipples going on back here but then we come down lower the overall trend brought you lower with all these bear sentiments bearing down on you huh, huh. sometimes you'll find that it's the waves over the zero line that, that play out more this is dude this is that uh scared money too man crown just dropped scared money too there's also a crown chopper event in vegas guys let me pull it up on my phone real quick let me figure out when it is um Damn, yeah, May 3rd to May 5th in Las Vegas. May 3rd to May 5th. I'll be there. I'm going to be Crown Chakra's bodyguard watching him as he performs. The Moon Party. Damn, so if you guys are going to be in Vegas on uh, the 3rd of May through the 5th of May, and you guys want to go to this crown chakra moon party i'll be there spence hog says looking at pendle dude what's the pick uh ticker for pendle because like i saw that coin performing really good it's just pendle pendle let's see this is a coin that's been performing very well in the sh short term and okay and the long term we do have a couple quarters of, of information we got data boom 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 the quarterly the quarterly stuff it's it's big time frame it's big time frame guys like big 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 time frame but i like it because uh it gives you the big picture it gives you the real meaty macro levels of support where like if it, if some shit went down you'd really be like that's like what cheap would really be you know um yeah this thing actually has been it broke over its april sentiment this is unique this is a unique situation in the crypto space breaking strong over that this is a perfect example of like when it's actually a strong trend you see the green dbsi you see the upsloped vwap and look at all the green dots any green dot gets you in when it actually plays out these any green dot even the ones over the the zero line play out good damn holy moly look at this trend yeah it's like at a time like this you don't really want to be doing mean reversion you just want to stay with the green dbsi so yeah we get this big uh this big shift here currently under the intraday so like very very short term uh turbulence here if it did have to fall back down it did sharply come up it could sharply come down to 5.5 that's where the april anchor is currently sitting at so some buyers would hopefully come in you, you would look to see some buyers come in at that 5.5 level 
if we did have to crash down off of uh, this bearish activity, let's see if that's mirrored anywhere else. So on the 65 minute, you did see we lost the runaway train status for the time being. 30 minute, divergent. <clears throat> 10 minute, basic strategy short. Basic strategy. You see the RSI. See at this point right here, the RSI loses 88. We always talk about that 88 level. So we lose 88, a very clean call of the top. I know people hate on our RSIs, but I'm telling you, if you use the 88 level and the 12 level, and uh, when they cross those, and if there's other signs, usually that's a powerful sign. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know how many people are watching, but uh, if we got 91 people in here, thank you. Appreciate you guys tuning in. No problem, Spence. Thank, uh, you're welcome for the insights. You are welcome. Does seem to be holding a, a current. We're holding a little bit of support here. So you could get a little more ranging, but overall you got that bearish basic strategy playing out. All right, we're looking at Bitcoin again. So we got a harsh wick down got knifed earlier flipped our 10 minute dbsi red <clears throat> this choppy action man this end of the triangle consolidation action is not my thing this is not my edge when i do trade i, I like to I, to trade in trending i like to see something big breaking out and slice and dice the move i like to momentum trade so uh this whole trying to guess up and down up and down all this shit. you know i come out i'm coming out every night to be here with you guys so so we're not swimming in the dark but uh yeah this chop this chop does not satisfy my edge but i'm gonna call it as i see it best as i can for you guys I may miss things with Market Cypher. You, you guys are catching things that I, lo I love to see it. I love that you guys are catching like short setups on the 15 minute and stuff that actually play out. Like you guys are making me really proud. But yeah, man, I love to take the easy trades. You guys know, like I, t I buy strength after the dip. Try to catch those big moves, man. I'm not trying to, to, to hold my dick and pray you know yeah we did catch in the vip we did catch the basic strategy long it was on the 65 minute i posted it in the vip last night it was at like two in the morning or some shit like these big moves have been happening late at night man that's why i've been streaming later because i'm trying to like catch some actual action and look we actually caught some action on this stream Whereas like, if I stream the same time all the other MC streamers do, dude, I don't know, man. I'm like digging into their time and like, I feel like nothing was happening. You guys, just, it's just the yapping. We're all just yapping. So try to mix it up a little bit. <clears throat> but yeah, we saw like in this long, you guys see there, this was foretold. You see the basic strategy set up. You see the money flow starting to trend up right here at this point, right when you get the green dot, you see the uptrend, the uptick in the red money flow. You get the yellow oscillator for that little added bonus. Our size weren't tight or nothing like that, but you take what you can get. You see back here, we got the crossover 12 way back here. So, so we already had the bullish indication for the RSI. That was like the first thing that happened basically. And so then from that point, you see that the waves are saying something juicy. So are we getting some action over the intraday? And what we saw was this big dildo. I liked that green dildo. So I posted in the VIP. I posted in the VIP, we see some price action over the intraday and we see the, the basic strategy playing out. CF's basic strategy. And I just, well, I fell asleep 
if I had entered a long trade and just fallen asleep, I would have woken up in profit. Um, I have this philosophy about winning trades. If you ever do wake up and you're in a winning situation, guys, think about like, what is TP? What is your TP1? What is your TP2? TP1 is usually gonna happen pretty quick. Perhaps as you, if you did enter this long, you rise up, you hit the bearish anchor. This could have been a really sharp, brutal shorting place to short, right? If you had some, some weakness here, I definitely would have been looking to cover my fees and, and the potential loss so that at this point I could at least sit pretty in my winning long idea. But as we break up over these sentiments and that that worry is proven wrong and, and the winning idea plays out more, I would have likely hit TP2. TP2, you lock in those linear gains, feeling a little better about the trade. Um, and I, I probably wouldn't have raised the stop loss yet. I, I only like to raise my stop loss at like TP4. Yeah, for, there is no TP4 in my mind. I just raised the stop and would let the market kick me out. Um, but I would, would have hoped that this would have came up higher and hit some sort of TP3. And so this downward price action, not really not really sure if i would have exited fully honestly like you're still in the winning trade i probably would just still have half the long trade open guys you know like you, you would still have your stop loss down here from this long i'm just trying to script like what would have happened if i did take the long i just haven't been leverage trading But that's my logic behind TP1 is like when you hit some major, you know, like volume weighted resistance, cover the fees, cover the worry, cover that feeling, that painful feeling of like, I want to take some profits off the table. Most people would close out the whole trade at this level and, and it keeps pumping and then maybe they would re-enter at the high and get wrecked or some shit. Um, so you don't want to exit everything all at once cover your fees cover your ass reward yourself for sure for for winning for your winning idea but because your idea was right in the first place the odds of more follow-through is likely whereas if your idea was wrong in the first place the odds of it becoming more wrong is is likely so that's what happens in trading is like if your first idea is right you kind of want to trust it man don't move your stop loss too quick because the moment you move your stop loss into profit or at break even, you're no longer basing the stop loss off technical analysis. So it becomes much more likely for the price to, to kick you out. And so you, you only want to consider that as like a TP3 or TP4 kind of move. Do everything in little pieces. Man, I've seen a little strength off the pink line here. Seeing some strength off the pink line on the 15 minute. Any divergence, any divergence. Ooh, yeah, a little bit. We see, uh, we could be getting a higher low. Um, whereas on the waves, to the untrained eye, you would not see much, but to my flopping groper vision, you see that the, the momentum got very overextended and we got an, a bullish kind of anchor wave set up here, um, despite digging in a higher low. So bears tired out in theory. So yeah, if there is a little upward pop, this is the momentum. This is why the momentum is uh, just a little over overstretched, a little overstretched. I'd like to see the, uh, you know, these larger divs, the divs that cross the zero line. I pay attention to them. I definitely weigh them. Since not many traders spot them, obviously, like they they don't. Sometimes they don't lead to the biggest moves playing out. But uh, this is a disagreement between the price and the oscillator. It's just over multiple waves and over the zero line. 
Schmerl says, FG bro, is there any consideration in MC automation bot trading? Um, I'm not sure CF and his guys plans for like automating MC beyond what you can already do with like the alert system. No plans in the works, but I know they're working on another indicator. I know they got another indicator in the works. The easiest indicator to bot is the yellow oscillator. The big crosses, the big crosses, uh, on like the 12 hour and up. It's the, it's the most quickest responding when it crosses zero. You see the most immediate moves in that direction. And it's frequent enough where you see it acting, acting out. Um, Night Shadow says, is this a dip? It could be, bro, because there's this kind of a bit of a, this like on the 15 minute, we are a bit overextended. Could there be a little, a little more divergence? Could this kind of like do a double dot or something? Like we are, see this, the momentum is under the negative 60 line. So on this micro, from a micro standpoint, the bears kind of have like runaway train status right now. So like you could very well see another leg down, but this wave doesn't really go much lower. It just kind of is down here below negative 60. And so we could see a little bit lower, but the oscillators are definitely overextended on the 15 minute. So we're having a little bullish hiccup. I just had a little bullish hiccup. <clears throat> um, let me go get another uh, protein shake. I'll be right back, guys. Been making these songs for all the traders, the ones that be up late. Get straight to the money from Sunday through Monday, but don't be no cheapskate. Invest in yourself and do not regret it. The real ones don't play safe. We don't, yeah, we taking chances, taking advances, merging like group of state. Ethereum, been balling for real, without a deal. This ain't nothing new to me. Nah, I came up in Memphis, then went international. Yeah, they start choosing me. Chose up, they calling me daddy, was pushing the caddy. Yeah, one time felt cool to me. Yeah, I switched up my ways, and now I'm awake, and no judge will be ruling me. Fuck that, can't go back to jail. No way, shit, nah, no. I'm legal as hell. Okay, you did. Invested in crypto and bought me some stocks, get paid on a rainy day. I'm spiritual, got me some quartz crystal. I'm saging my space for peace. For peace. They thinking I'm crazy now. Why? Wow. Cause I'm talking differently. Damn. And eating these living foods. Yeah. We're vegan for various reasons. Yeah. You say that you need the meat. Mm. They eat it without disease. I'm facing my demons, they running away. Courageous like Mike Perry. The champ, I guess I'm a threat. We ham on my demons, be happy and don't worry. Yeah. It's time to get paid, it's time to get rich. Pockets on swole now. Pockets on swole. Say my affirmations and do meditation. Yeah, I'm on a roll now. I'm on a roll. Surrounding myself with nothing but winners, no negative tendencies. Nah. My vibes stay higher like Wayne Dyer. Level myself until I retire. Then been through the hell, went straight through the fire. Ooh. Came out the fire, now I'm shining brighter. Ooh. I'm a creator, but I am not Tyler. Feeling like Rocky, the eye of the tiger. Been shit on these tracks, who I might need a diaper. Cut out the junk food, I ain't some more fiber. Yeah. This yeah. one for you, man, if you a subscriber. If it's crypto hop, I am your supplier. Man, some out of nothing, just like a MacGyver. Ooh. Knowledge of self, yeah, I am a deep diver. Ooh. Everything major, man, ain't nothing minor. You either 100 or extra a shyster. Ain't no Ooh. in between, you can't go about it. Tell me who's solid and show me who real. I real. probably can count them on one of my hands. That life goes on, the rig get revealed. I ain't got no chill, yin and yang, my life and duality. Ooh, we, let's keep it moving and keep on improving. You're <laughs> moving anatomy. Ooh, we, man, yeah. I come in peace. Yo. Uh, so obviously like the fact that Bitcoin is struggling to maintain over the a the April anchor we didn't get a bounce here which is like you know it's a little it's a little unfortunate to see a volume weighted anchor of this importance getting disrespected like this but you know the good the good thing about the anchor even in this kind of situation is that it saves you from making mistakes <clears throat> here's an example of one of our traders who took a long scalp uh, but you can see that like because we fell under the red avwap here we go failure to close above 
had him out of the trade. So he exited his trade at break even. So the VWAPs are very protective in nature. You know, almost before the, before they secure you gains, they, they actually are first giving you the guard the guardrails. They give you those guardrails. And we did get some extra down, so. Yeah, they protected our boy Merka from uh, more downside. That's just kind of like the, sil the silver lining of uh, this kind of stuff. You know, like there's certainly a pitch thrown to the bulls if like the traders are coming in at this moment. And it did seem like the bulls were gonna run with this. And we came down and we found some support. We did build some structure. Um, but then we got the intraday, we got the intraday reset and all that volume pouring into these levels just shifted us down. Um, so, you know, as sad as it is to see this, this major anchor getting violated up and down like this. Yeah, it does. It does keep you out of bad trades. Damn the ship, ship not having a good time. Do you see a bit of a rounding of the money flow? Looking at the Shiba Inu right now. Having a tough time. It, it did respect the gulag up there. We've been shortened down from there. Oh yeah, big 12, 12 hour coming down. Look at that big anchor trigger short setup. A 12 hour anchor trigger. 12 hour anchor trigger on a whiff as well. Same on Bonk, all your meme coins. Look at Pepe. Pepe money flow leaving. Coming, the crypto markets are coming down to brass tacks for the time being. What does not serve humanity shall fall. Any smooth brainers in the chat? Any smooth brainers? <laughs> BTC, BTC, what are you going to do? Big red candle off these anchors, man. Rejection. Big tall wick on the 12 hour here. Big downtrend of the blue waves. Money flow reducing. There is, so there's that triangle, obviously, guys. There's the triangle right here, you know? We And we are in a bullish, we are in a bull market. So, you know, I'd say what's most likely is that we do find some support on the pink or the yellow anchor. And we do come up and just break bullish out of this triangle. I say that the odds are probably, that's probably the highest because we're in like such a strong bull market. And it may be possible that we don't secure the cheap prices that we really, really want at this year to date anchor. But what's also in the cards is a breakdown from this level due to the medium planning time frame downtrend that we're in from this lower high. And we actually have a bull flag set up. And this wick back here was just some stupid, some stupid shit. So that's kind of where I'm at. Little, little bit of indecision as evidenced by our sideways anchors. The anchors have gone more sideways. But overall still lean, lean and bullish. The, the, the year to date, the Q4 of 2023 and the Q1 of 2024 
and our poop line major major sentiments pushing us up for the time being just be mindful of the possibilities and you know if this triangle first of all if the triangle breaks up that could also be bearish because then you get a trumpet and you could crash down to the year to date from that point that would be a major upset on the flip side if the triangle breaks down and you get the bull flag confirmation that's an amazing long and so either either break of this triangle is a very tradable trumpet pattern formation um so you know while we are stuck in the chop stuck with fg yapping about meaningless price action as we swivel around in this stupid consolidation here i'm so bored of this consolidation bro it's because not enough of you are doing push-ups with me but if more of you guys can start doing 100 push-ups a day maybe we, we will do something either crash down and, and secure some nice prices for the common man or we break up and, and crypto twitter starts jerking themselves off with the jergens lotion and their pride and, and arrogance has to be punished that's that's kind of where i'm at yes sir professional japanese japanese <laughs> usdt dominance how do you check usdt dominance is that a stupid question what chart what chart are you looking at bro So right now we're looking at the NASDAQ, the NASDAQ, NASDAQ, big red candle, money flow coming down. It seems to me like, uh, you know, it keeps breaking these trend lines, which means the, the, uh, the trajectory of the NASDAQ, you know, it's interesting how it breaks the trend line, but then just goes back up. But how many times can its trajectory be interloped before it comes down to that EMA? What a tough situation, man. What a tough situation. But you see the reckoning, the, the inverse bearish pig nipples on that. And you're jealous of people who have success, prosperity, mm. money, and wealth. You will reject that away from yourself. Mm. <clears throat> man, I, just, I'm a little bit bearish on the, on the NASDAQ. What about the S&P 500? We had this really strong trend. Look at that trend that just broke. Momentum uh, seeming to go lower for now. Five day, weekly. What a pain in the ass, man. It just it just keeps going up. I mean this may get eaten up and it may just shoot higher. It's it's pretty silly. It's like we're just in this everything bubble where uh it's like new all-time high, dump, new all-time high, dump, new all-time high, dump. Whatever little dump they gotta do to wreck people longing the top. And then they just go right back up. Bitcoin has been acting very similar. When we look at the Bitcoin chart, and we just look at like the micro price action back when we were running up like this. Look at the continuous all time high dump. And then the second we get to an all time high dump, all time high dump. 
all-time high dump so it's just continuous over and over brutal that's why like when people are saying all-time high all-time high like it makes the it makes the average person want to just go long but yeah it's like you want to look for some low prices because that continuous all-time high frothing at the mouth hype it just gets constantly punished again and again and i'm looking here on the 65 minute uh the, it seems like that bullish basic strategy long it's like still in play we want we want to see what this wave on the 65 minute look turns into if this turns into like a little trigger wave it could be promising because we're getting a, a 65 minute green candle on the pink line but if we get we don't want to tap this line twice though if you get two in the pink you get one in the stink and you're gonna get some yellow in there with that <laughs> So yeah, we're hoping we don't get a double tap of the pink here. Ooh, the four hour, man. Something's cooking on the four hour, man. If we could get a, an anchor trigger set up on the four hour, that would be a mega turbo juicer. Tomorrow's stream is going to be good. Dang, tomorrow is the last stream of the week. Can you guys believe we did four out of five streams this week already? Man, these these weeks just fly by, man. I hope you guys are uh, making the most out of every day. These are the good old days, man. We're gonna look back and be like, those were the good old days. Make sure you, you kiss and love your family. Take care of your bodies. If you need time to, uh, if you're working too hard, if you're feeling like you're toiling and, and picking rocks in the gulag, it's time for a vacation, man. It's time to get out of the house. There's no time to be struggling or fighting or um, battling things. You gotta be confident that you're overcoming and rising and uh, vanquishing everything ruthlessly. So yeah, if you're not in that 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 mode of, of of conquering life, it's time for a vacation. Oh man, Let's see, 15 minute versus look back on this 15 minute, getting a little red candle action, still under that negative 60. What about the 30 minute? We could get a hold here, guys, but we haven't gotten a hard test of the pink line, so lower is in the cards. And we'll probably get snagged on that pink line for a little bit, and we'll have to see what's going on around the intraday. It may it may go sideways until, like, tomorrow's reset, and then that reset will, will give us a fresh opportunity or something. Not really sure, um, but I was really happy to come on the stream, and uh, we, we saw a major 15 minute uh, basic strategy play out right after a big 65 minute basic strategy played out long wise. So uh, Market Cypher's doing great. Doing great, we're doing great things with it. Yeah, man, I'm happy to, to come out here and, and help the MC community, man. It's like not many indicators have uh, so many voices coming out trying to interpret it best oscillators in the game man we got the volume based long-term money flow we got the medium term blue wave and yellow wave momentum giving us the the planning capabilities and the higher win rates in our trades and we got the market strength we got the rsis every single one of these oscillators is, is critical to reading what's happening in the markets to discerning the not just the price action but but yeah like do our trades have a, a an actual high win rate of success that's what that's what market cipher helps us do gives us visions into the future helps us form ideas 
and uh, gives us an idea of, of what our win rate will look like. Yeah, man. I mean, we also got we got other guys. We got I mean, yes, we've got Face, we got me, Geo, Jay Casper, but uh, we got Frankie Candles. Frankie Candles uses Market Cipher. You got Crypto Zombie. Crypto Zombie doesn't necessarily stream. He's more of a macro guy, but he is a. Uh, let, me, let me click that bell. Crypto Zombie is one of the most fiercest Bitcoin bulls, and he employs Market Cipher's macro charts in his analysis. AJ writes crypto. Got an interview with him coming soon. <clears throat> He's a a poop coin lord. Good with MC. Same generation as me. One of the last. One of the last millennials. He's a. I feel like we're a good age, we're a good generation. Because he's a good guy, I met him in Miami. Um, he uses Market Cypher too. You got uh, Dr. Slater, you got the TP Mint guys. A whole ass team, it's not just Dr. Slater, she's got a whole team of traders that she's recruited. And they're consistent and good and they trade their Forex. Who else we got? How's that Dylan Waves kid doing? How's Dylan Waves doing? He's been doing updates. He's at 1.3. My treadmill just died. That's the top signal for the stream. Yeah, Dylan Waves still doing his analysis. Yeah, I mean, I always got my eyes out. You guys can look at my YouTube. Look at my YouTube algorithm. We got uh, some Crypto Lark. Got some Crown Chakra. Got some, I'm on the David Goggins algorithm, so I guess I got, I got this, how to conquer your inner bitch. I guess, uh, I guess if you follow David Goggins, you start getting that stuff. Yeah, a lot of, uh, since I have my, like, I'm a push-up challenge, that's my short content, so I think the algorithm thinks I like this stuff. But uh, it's, it's just Market Cypher community. Like, that's all I sub to, guys. It's looked at over here. I just sub to the Market Cypher community. So I just, I preside over my world, the people that I need to, to follow up on. And uh, yeah, man, I try to curate my feed as best as I can. I think it's important to do that. I think uh, with your all your social medias, guys, Make sure that you guys are like deleting the extra fat. If it's not helping you make money, if it's not helping your own people, then get rid of it. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, it's time to get, I, at some point I just realized it was time to get down to brass tacks. Like I don't care what Ben Shapiro is saying. I don't care about, there's so much I actually realize I don't, I don't care about. A lot of sports, a lot of politics, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> thank, thank you, man. I need people to remind me. I've been working on that. I've been working on the, the you know what I'm saying's and the ums and stuff. Becoming a better yapper. I don't need a public speaking course, though. I, I got the confidence for that. I'm like high, high on my own farts over here. I could talk to a, a whole auditorium. Forty-five minute, looking like the money flow is sloping down. Trying to bottom out. Yeah, we're just gonna let it cook overnight, guys. Let's see how things change, and uh, I'll come back tomorrow, and we'll have another juicer stream. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Like the stream, sub, click the bell, follow my journey, and uh, yeah, man, let's make this Q2 a good one, guys. Let's make it the best. Let's make it the best quarter yet.